Here we go, 3x3, let's get it on. Parrott gets things going. Bardsley looking for space. He goes back to Parrott. Parrott pulls up from the Enlio logo, that's a miss. And Zhu with the board. They go down to Zhu again. He was huge on the first day. Bullies for the bucket. That's big boy basketball right there. Parrott tries to go back at him. He succeeds. So both teams on the boards now. They go back down to Zhu. They feel like they have a mismatch there. And Zhu, well, he delivers again this time. He draws the foul. He was a problem yesterday. As he is one of the taller players in the field, standing at two, one, uh, 203 centimeters tall. There you go. Zhu again, the 30 year old, delivers like he's coming up with some food. Two to one. Mitch Hahn answers. Finally, a two point shot going down for Omaha. Again, they were dry on the first day. But Hahn gets one. Zhu, though, he's looking to pick up some of the scoring load that. that Carlos Las Manas usually picks up. He can't stick with Air Parrot though. He's uh, slithery and fast. James Parrot has to guard Jew, and that mismatch is something Beijing is going to again and again. Parrot again. This is an offensive game, ladies and gentlemen. But Parrot forgets to make the layup. Beijing out there taking turns now. It's Wen Bo Lu, but that will go out of bounds. So six seconds left for the Mays to try to get people lost. Mies is steps back, big shot, front rims it. Bardsley. Spinning and fading on the shot. That's pretty, like a Bob Ross painting. Here we go. Mies is easy late. Using all of that speed, five to four game. Bardsley again looking for space. Now he's got a two-point shot ahead of him, but no good. And you know what? That man down there, he cleans up some trash. Clay Rowe makes sure that ball stays in possession for Omaha. Hahn also is shot from the outside. And Mitch Hahn, that's his second two of the game, 7-4. to four. He is his, He's exiting people up like a treasure map. Han this time decides to attack the rack. Now it's Rowe on the outside. Fakes, kicks it out. Han has to shoot shot clock, but it don't matter. Big Mitch, his third triple. Nine to five. Now we've got, oh, that's a pretty layup. Li Peng Liu over top of the arms of Mitch. They leave him open again. This time he decides to go to the rack. Hard layup. Mitch Han, ladies and gentlemen, is carrying Team Omaha. It's 10 to 6. They use a take foul to stop the clock. And I feel like Han might be taking the seat. Yeah, he's gassed. That's the man right there. It's been him and Parrot. And a little bit of Bardsley. But that's the way they usually do things. And the trash man's there to clean up the rest. That shot is missed. And Parrot droned up to get that board. Bardsley now. Barsley, his two-point shot might be stuck in customs. Take a look at Han pulling up from the logo there. Shot Mies is missed. And Parrott puts Omaha up to a five point lead. So Mies is again stepping back. We saw him do that yesterday. This time it's not a make. Zhu has been quiet for a little bit. Draws a foul again. Underneath, 
easy bucket, 11 to 7. So Zhu has been working for Team Beijing. Barsley this time, floating no good, but you know what? Parrot's there. And that man's got some extremely long arms. So Mieses will take a seat. He got elbowed in the mouth. So Lu went and checked on him, but now it's up to Liu, Lu, and Zhu to try to pick up the slack. Referees are looking at the images to try to see if it's intentional, and it's not. So Beijing will just get possession here. Oma up, they got three fouls and Beijing's got zero. Liu, pull up, and that's good. Parrot this time. He finds Barsley outside. Barsley has not been successful from two-point land. Zhu attacking again, and that man just keeps on going. Incredible play by Zhu, and then the foul's called. So Wen Bo Lu pulled the emergency break there as he grabbed on the parrot. I think they're going to try to look and see if that, that might be an unsportsmanlike as that player broke through. And he just kind of grabbed him by the hips. And I don't, I don't think that's allowed, but, you know, I'm not a referee. So again, the referees taking a look at the replay to see if uh, this play was uh, outside of the spirit of the game. And it's called a regular foul. So that will be on the floor. That means Team Omaha will have possession. That was Team Beijing's first foul. Clay Rowe having a bit of a discussion with the other referee, trying to see if he can change his mind. But you know what? Once a referee makes up his mind, that's it. Air Parrot on the rack attack. He misses everything. Zhu with the board. The maze is back out on the court as well. Zhu wants it, but Miez wants a screen. He goes at the rack. It's blocked by Mitch Han. Bardsley. And a foul again on Beijing as they tossed James Parrott to the ground on that screen. Take a look at Miezes getting rejected like a bad DM. Bardsley off of the pair pick and roll. We've seen this before. He gets up higher than Wiz Khalifa on that one. 13 to 10, Air Parrot. He's getting up high enough to try to see if he can see the FIBA logo on the court. Actually on the field. There's a FIBA logo on the field, ladies and gentlemen. Miezes dancing. Miezes not delivering on that one though. We'll keep it going. This time they go look for Clay Rowe on the uh, pick and roll action. A foul's called there. Bardsley gets a screen from Han. Bardsley goes back to Han. He's got a bit of daylight. He's been shooting, but this one's a miss. Zhu with the board. Aaron shot here. Zhu tries one from two as well. That's good. Rombo Zhu. He can shoot as well. He's not just good in the paint. Clay Rowe 
He will look to try to see if he can answer for Omaha. Barsley gets his mitts on the board. That's out of bounds. I don't know who's that, who that's out on. So it's Omaha possession, the first 12 for them, Mitch Hahn. Looks like an Iraq, he's got the aces to deal with, and that is gonna be a three second call on Parrott. He was hanging out in the paint. No camping out here on Henshaw Island. Miezes fakes, steps back, contested by Han. Side rims the shot, paired, skies in for the board. And then Rowe seals out Zhu. He'll take a seat, but it will be the fifth foul on Team Beijing. Parrot stepping through this time, and he's got the longest arms out of everybody in the field, I believe. Somehow you can't stop that man from making a layup. You can't stop that man from making a layup either, like Peng Liu. Pick and roll game has been working for Omaha. Beijing's been using their fouls. This is number six, so they are at the bonus. Yez is going to try to right the ship for his troops. I mean, they came back yesterday from a huge, huge deficit, so never count out the heart of an Olympic champion. Zhu's been good for them. Mies only has two points. On the other hand, it's been Han and Parrott. Barsley's still stuck at one. He's tried a bunch of twos, but they haven't gone down. Parrott to Barsley. Pick and roll with Han. Barsley again. Now he's got some space going towards the rack. Scoops it up and in. And that's smoother than Froyo. Zhu again for two. Front rim and a hand from Mitch Han in there to make sure that the rebound doesn't go to Zhu. So good play by Han there. That means possession up top for Beijing instead of a free layup. Zhu hands it off. Li Bing Liu fakes him out but doesn't make it. You know what? Zhu's got his back. Parrot, baseline, kicks it out. Row is open. The trash man. That is no good. Oh, quick hands by Parrot. The deflection ends up with Bardsley. They go back to Parrot. Parrot fakes. Rack attack. Bardsley is open in the corner. This time he finally gets it to go. Trey Bardsley. His stroke was broke, but not on that one. Miezes. Parrot gets the Bardsley screen this time. Bardsley gets it back. He tries another one, and he's good from behind the arc again. Now it's Han. That board goes to Miezes, but Beijing's looking at a five-point deficit. Miezes kicked it out, and that is smacked away by Han. Take a look as Han says, no thank you, and rejects that like your invitation to prom. Meanwhile, Bardsley, after missing a whole bunch, now he shoot. He's got two in a row. This shot was finally released by Customs. So you better watch out, Omaha. They're two points away from putting Team Beijing to bed in your final quarterfinal game here in Shanghai. Miezes. Zhu's open in the corner. Beijing needs that, but it doesn't go. Rebound. Goes to Lou, Lou's outside, fakes, and makes. All right, they needed that bucket, and they got that bucket. 16 to 19. Parrot 
tries to shake his defender. Parrott is crafty and gets it a cup 16 to 20. Omaha's at game point. Zhu underneath free, but gets a little dunk and then a turnover. And that goes out of bounds. It's looking like that might be Omaha ball. And what are they going to do out of this? They got some play coming up. Mitch Hahn is starting with the check up top. Parrott comes through with the screen. Hahn. Hahn going at Miezis. Fading away. Mitch Hahn takes care of Beijing. Omaha 21, Beijing 17. In what could be called an upset, they took care of an Olympic champ. Take a look at this team Omaha advancing here to the semifinals and team Beijing. And I know they were the crowd favorite, but they'll be going home.